Good morning gentlemen. Now we're on the last stage of the rev counter repair. Um, it's now working. Um, I've obviously already set it to make sure it's okay. Um, but uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown of what we do here. Now basically what I'm using at the moment for a tone generator in fact is an app on the phone. Now I find these are very very accurate. Uh, if it says 50 hertz, it is 50 hertz, etc. Signal generators can be a bit off if they're one of the older types. So I've decided for good quality calibration, what we want is using the phone. Now, at the moment it's set to 50 hertz, which on a six cylinder engine is equivalent to 1000 RPM. And as you can see, bang on 1000. So, what we now do is, I'll put in 150 um, to this. Now, that will be equivalent to 3000 RPM. So I'll just apply that and there you go. As you can see the needle has jumped up to 3000. Now also um, we can double that which would then be equi obviously equivalent to 6000 uh, RPM. So we'll change that to 300. Apply that and there you go. It's actually just about spot on. I mean, earlier on when I did check it, um, I thought it was around about 5% out, but in fact, no, it seems to be just about right. You know, so absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Uh, very pleased with the way this has worked out. Um, what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you what it does when you adjust the preset. So we'll go back to uh, 150 hertz, which is equivalent to 3000. Uh, 3, I'll just uh, delete that. 150, apply. There we are, you can see the gauge is set to, to bang on 3.0. So the pot is right behind. Um, the pots aren't very good quality, but usually you find if you, you clean it with a little bit of a uh, well, deoxit or uh, service or whatever you have, even WD-40 is fine. So long as you don't go spraying it all over the place and it gets into the movement, that's where you have to be careful. Now it's quite touchy. Now you see that that's it dropping you know, down to 2000 and then you can turn it up and it actually goes, goes way up. Yeah, we don't want it to do that, obviously. Um, I'll do this again out with the camera because I don't want any parallax errors. I um, want this thing to be right. Um, but there we go, that's it. As far as we can see, bang on 3000. So as I say, the job has actually gone very well, very pleased, and I do think this is the way to do it. Um, reversing the transistors, uh, it does reduce interference, etc. on car radios. So, and it's the right way to do it. Swapping things, I don't think is right. But uh, that's a matter of uh, my preferences, um, others may disagree, but as I say, uh, that's the way I like to do things, I like to try and do things like this electronically right. So uh, that's the job done and I'll let the customer know and we'll get it parceled up and sent off to him and hopefully we'll be a happy bunny. Okie doke, thanks again, bye.